What vacation did you like more? Palm Springs with the kids or Puerto Rico without the kids? Puerto Rico without the kids. Jared, think about it. Ruminate on it. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> and I have my answer. <laughs> Puerto Rico without the kids. I think you're gonna be surprised by my answer. This video right now that you're watching is sponsored by Squarespace. Now Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for entrepreneurs to stand out and succeed online. Now whether you're just starting out or managing a growing business, I'm telling you right now, Squarespace is the easiest place to create a beautiful website. Engage with your audience. You can sell anything from products to time to content, all in one place all on your own terms. Go to squarespace.com right now, go play around, get your free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash shambooty to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Now, enjoy the video. All right, we're trading in this meh weather for heat. We're gonna come back tan. We're gonna come back fit, rejuvenated, not rejuvenated. We're going with the kids. Ryu, say spring break. Spring break, Who's ready to sit in the car for two and a half hours? Very safe, relaxing facials. Oh, God. Ryu, why do you love sunscreen so much? Here, no, Ryu, no use more. This, use this sunscreen. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah. Hey, why do you have to cook it? Why do we have to cook what? What are we making? You tell them. What are we making? Uh, yeah. don't cook. Yeah. Are you taking pictures? Nope. We're doing videos. What do we have here? Um, it's a burrata with mushrooms and steak crostini. <laughs> Hello, Zaya. Come on, Zaya. <laughs> if we cut the legs off, she'd be fine. <laughs> You're recording? I was so close. Give him a little spin, babe. Give him a little spin. What are you doing? Back when the things were just natural. Used to laugh, used to dance. What happened? I want to chill old fashioned. Long as it feels like back then. From the bath to the sink to the mattress. Grab a nest when the seas wow. happen. I don't fear no passion. You believe it's magic. Tired of tiptoeing. The autumn thinks I'm knowing. It's gotta end somewhere. Fantasies I know. How to get so deep? God only knows. I gotta fix those kinds of things. Tell me what I got. I like how I'm here. This is my baby. Why you looking at me like it's magic? Stop. Used to have me with your climaxing. Flip you over with Atlantic. I know what happened. Now you say you passed it. Girl, I know that's tragic. Don't be so dramatic. Let's reattach it. Uh, focus on the good days while you get rough. I bet you 10 minutes of kissing, it's not gonna go bad. What? 
I bet you 10 minutes of kissing. Ah! What did she take me to? Oh, did you get this? Yeah. Did you really? Yeah. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. And that's what I'm complaining about? Yeah. Bitch. <laughs> Why didn't you say something? Because we were talking shit, you jumped. <laughs> 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 hey. Louder. Louder! I did it! Okay. Popping in real quick. I know I'm interrupting the video, but listen, I gotta give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. And let me show you these little tools that they got. Check this out. Squarespace's Blueprint AI and CEO tools start a completely personalized website with a new guided design system. Easily launch your website and get discovered fast with integrity, flexible payments. Make checkout seamless for your customers with simple but powerful payment tools. Nobody likes to stumble around at checkout, so make it easy with Squarespace. The Fluid Engine. With Fluid Engine, the next generation website editor from Squarespace, it has never been easier for anyone to unlock unbreakable creativity. So I'm telling you right now, go check out squarespace.com, go play around, make your dream website for free with their free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash shambooty to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Again, that is squarespace.com slash shambooty to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Now enjoy the rest of this video. Why do I sound like rabbit? Why do I sound like the rabbit right there? Throw the rest of this video. Throw the rest of this video. Just enjoy the video. Puerto Rico was like better than Costa Rica. So if I was to rank our trips, it would be Puerto Rico, uh, Palm Springs with the kids, and Lauren's family, and then Costa Rica. You don't agree? <laughs> Palm Springs with the kids is above our honeymoon? <laughs> what? In the world? Yes. Okay. So what we, your, your priorities are definitely... So what are your priorities then? When you go on a trip with, with just us. Why are you yelling at me now? <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> My priorities on a trip with just us uh, connect with you, probably number one. Yeah. Number two. Mm. I'll answer this. My priorities when it's just us is adventure. Yeah. I want to go and do risky things. I want to hike. I want to jump off of things. I want to you know, go and see the city. I want to do a lot of walking. We did bike rides when we were in Puerto Rico. I just don't think those could ever be on our priority list with the kids. Right. I think that if I'm, I'm going on a trip with the kids, like my n number one priority is going to be at the kiddie pool. It's going to be the opposite. It's, it's going, going to be, be how can we avoid risk? Yeah, we're going to be sitting <laughs> in the most shallow area of the pool. We're going to be, you know, very, very limiting to what we can do in a day. There's going to be half the day when one of us is going to have to just X out because we're going to put Zaya down for a nap. The priorities are definitely not going to be the same. And I, when I look at vacations, those are the things that I want to experience. I want to go experience the city. I want to go experience the, the, the local and, and, you know, enjoy it in that, in that vantage point. We just can't do that with the kids. Maybe not yet. Maybe when they get older, vacations with them will be a little bit better. But right now, it's like the way I put it is when we go on vacation with the kids, it's just a very mellow time that we usually have here just in a nicer spot now zaya is still like becoming aware and growing and this will probably change in the next little bit ryu three and a half let me just tell you guys this from my heart to yours is incredible like it is just such a gift to see her enjoy life and experience the world yeah and she loves vacations she does she loved that vacation she loved the one in mexico she loved it so experiencing her joy is like there's nothing com you can't compare anything to that so and then would you say that that vacationing with kids is the most memorable and then vacationing alone is the most rewarding let me just think about this because i i feel tempted to say i have more joy when the kids are around i also have more annoyance i also have more exhaustion 
Um, with when it's you and I, it's more relaxation. It's more experience, more adventure, more novelty, more connection, more romance. But like genuine joy, I don't know. I feel like there's something really sp special that I get from seeing the kids do things for the first time. Like when I think about Palm Springs, I think about that's when they learn how to kind of swim with yeah, their bodies. Yeah, yeah, and like how happy they were to be. In, I think about Cairo and Zara. I think about uh, Cairo and Ryu wrestling in the pool. Like that's like those are those are just memories that I'll have forever. And I can't even really recall them visually, but I can feel them in my heart, which is why I know they were very joyful. I think the worst thing about traveling with us is is thinking about the kids sometimes because you know they're so attached to us right now. And usually when we have to leave them behind, I know that there's a lot of moments with the babysitter or with whoever they're with, and they're saying, "I miss mom. I miss dad." And so there's that little bit of that. And then also when you're doing something cool, you're like, oh, I wonder what Ryu or Zaya would be like in this scenario. Um, and I think the worst thing with traveling with them is the packing. <laughs> I don't like the packing. It's the worst part of it. It's the hardest part and the corralling, um, especially if the vacation requires a plane flight. Um, you know, a lot of those things are just stressful. And then going through this, you know, airport and having to go through TSA and, and corralling all the kids, it's just a lot. And so that is the worst part about traveling with the kids <coughs> for me. Yeah, I think I've already said it a million times over. The worst part about traveling anywhere new. We could go to someone else's house that's new and unknown to me. And it's just the unmanaged risks is really like exhausting for my brain. So now that we have kids, right, we're a full-blown family. Does your perspective on vacationing change? Because I'll be honest, for me, I didn't really value vacations. I didn't really care about them. It didn't really matter. Um, I enjoyed them, of course, don't get me wrong, but it wasn't a priority for me. But now I feel like once a year, like we gotta do something or I will go stir crazy. You gotta do something. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I completely agree with you. Yeah. It's just a beautiful, like there's little moments where I just remember, remind myself like why we work so well together. It's just little values like that that we're just really beautifully aligned on. Genuinely, same as you, I never value travel. Yeah. It's cool, but maybe because life without kids did not have routine. It was unpredictable, yeah. all over the place. It was spontaneous. It was kind of all the things that you already get on vacation. Right, right. So I didn't crave that and we're already, we're always in new situations traditionally now that we have you know a lot more limitations our yeah. life is a little is a lot routine um so maybe now i see the value in it in a way that i didn't before and absolutely to your point not only for you know my need to break the routine but from seeing how happy it makes the kids yeah do you think that going forward there's going to be a balance of prioritizing both styles of like vacationing or do you think it's like no let's just do the kid vacations i mean i think yeah absolutely if we could get to a place where we have more money and we could travel with a nanny yeah. and we could you know mix up and do a little bit of both that would be wonderful why are you saying that i like to keep them separate really yeah like one let's go vacation with the kids let's go vacation by ourselves i don't want to do the blend of the two because that nowhere in our life with kids has that ever worked we can never be like, well, just go to this nice dinner and like have the kids there. They'll like it too. And we'll get to eat what we want. It just usually becomes like a <laughs> And so I'd rather. And then it's their thing. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather just, you know, let's do a kid vacation and then do our vacation. I would like to prioritize. Hopefully we get to a space, you know, financially where that is feasible. But I just would like one verb one. Can I tell you my favorite part about vacationing alone? What? Can you guess? No. We talked about this before. I was like, there's one thing that I want to have on this trip, or I want to be on this trip, and that's what? pretty. Oh, because <laughs> you get to t get ready because yes. you don't have no kids. Yes, yes. Yes. That is something that is huge, and that is a very big difference in the two. And actually, as I reflect on that, um, mostly on our trip to Cancun, we went to All Inclusive. At dinner time, everyone's like dressed up yeah, to the nines, hair and makeup, all their vacation outfits, like White Lotus. Everyone's yeah. like, this is my time to like really like, you know, look good and feel good about myself. But we're coming home from pool. Yeah. So we have to wash and shower and wash the hair of the kids, get them ready and organized, get them dressed, and then get them fed or a little snack. And then you look up and you have to go to dinner. 
And yeah. so you have to just throw on clothes and go out there not feeling very proud of yourself. So I said to myself before Puerto Rico, every day, I just want to be beautiful. Yeah. I want to feel pretty. I want the time. I want the hour and a half each day to pick the right jewelry, to pick the right outfits, to really get my edges down, like all of that. Yeah. And getting to do that was like very, very nourishing for me. And you did that. Thank you, babe. You saw it in the vlog. She was looking right. <laughs> Let me ask the million dollar question. We love vacationing. We like the flow. It suits us very much. We really liked Puerto Rico. Does it not make sense to try to make our life more vacation-like? No. No? No. Why? We just have so, many, we have so much planning here right now. I don't, I don't think moving to Puerto Rico is the move yet. I do. I know you do. Okay, well, I just wanted to tell them that so they could start to get information to be on my side, and then they can watch the process of me wearing you down. Yeah, I just, uh, yeah. I don't see it happening anytime soon, so <laughs> good luck. All right, anybody who has kids or if you have ever traveled with kids before, what are the hacks? What are some of the things to make it less stressful from a parenting position? Be that both thinking about their safety and also for Jared, who hates packing, who hates traveling them on flights, what are some of the things that you have done to make these parts of the trip that can stain the trip for adults more enjoyable? Was that a clear question or was that too many words? That was clear. So, we just did another kids vacation. We learn a little is, bit every time. Is this one better than the last Palm Springs one? Actually, no, you don't even answer that. <laughs> is this one better than a vacation alone? Because in our video, these people saw that you definitely said that going on vacation with the kids is better. Are you salty? Um, yeah, I mean, I love, yeah. When, 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 it, when it hits. It hits. When we're running to the sprinkler, it hits. And they're giggling and they're laughing and they're just like having so much fun. Like when it hits, it hits. It hits. It hits a place that has, has never been seen or ventured on before. And then when it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit. It doesn't hit. It really doesn't hit. Right, did you like Palm Springs? Zaya, did you like Palm Springs? Okay, we're not taking you guys to Palm Springs anymore. 